Hey, what's up, speaker files? Wellington here, and welcome to this video. I think it was in a user menu or something like that. I think it was on the charge three where I saw it. Um, it said, "Do not touch the passive radiators." So, in the case of an accident and you put a hole in your passive radiator, does that mean the end of the speaker? And how does it sound in comparison? To the original speaker how it was before the fall or before the hole got into it by the end of the video we will have these different stages of damage and repair and see how they all compare to the original sound of the speaker before all that damage was done all right so before we do any of that I do have to go and record um, the original sound of the speaker before the damage is done to it. So let's go and do that first. All right, come with me. All right, now that that's done, I guess this is the the fun part. The first thing I'm gonna try to do is see if I can put a hole in there. These are kind of sharp, but not the sharpest instrument. I just wanted to use something kind of sharp, but not very sharp and see if it will put. Dang. This is not easy to break. So if you are worried about um, puncturing a hole in this thing, I feel like the rubber maybe on the side here might break, but it's also really stretchy. And it feels like there's something behind there that keeps it from going all the way down to stretch this to the point where it will break. You know what I mean? So yes, I don't think it's something that brutal, brittle where it will just break you know from normal use so it's a strong it's a strong thing but i do have something here that i'm pretty sure it will not fail to put a hole in this thing so then obviously my biggest drill bit is not in here oh my gosh i do feel really bad doing this because i really really love my speaker but this is the only way to find out what we're trying to find out. So bear with me here. Do I, should I really do this? Do I have to do this? I think I do. All right. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm gonna put a hole in my JBL Charge 4 with a drill bit, so. Is that going? Okay. Ooh. That is metal. There's a metal plate behind this, so that's why you can't just puncture it. That's interesting. <laughs> that is aluminum right there. You guys see those chips? So this thing is not going to break that easy. It's aluminum, there's no way you're going to puncture it. So, except for what I'm doing, this way you will. I think we're there. You guys see those shavings, aluminum shavings? Interesting, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know that. Whoa. There's something behind. That's a big thick piece of aluminum. All right, so I'm using my phone right now. Can you guys see in there? There is another piece that's behind the piece of aluminum right in there. So that's pretty interesting. Who knew? But I'm just gonna go ahead and drill through it. Let's see what happens.
the next piece that's down in there is not aluminum, it's some sort of steel. It's really hard, it's not. I just want to find a way of holding it in place. I might need a metal drill bit. I try to use a smaller drill bit. Crap. That went in too deep. I hope I didn't break anything that I don't want to break. I feel so bad doing what I'm doing. Like I hope there's no battery right where I'm drilling. I don't want to drill into it. You can hear there's definitely a hole. But I'm gonna take a quick video right here with my phone because my third camera is upstairs that I'm using to record with some sample. Because I wanna move it. And you can see that hole right there. It goes right through. See there's the aluminum piece right here, the top one, it's like eighth of an inch or more. And then the, in the inside there's another piece, but I think that's like steel. So these things are pretty, pretty built not to be punctured. You know what I mean? Does it even still work? Let's see. Yep. It still works, but I can tell the sound has changed. <laughs> All right, let's go record Let's go see where we are at as far as sound quality. All right, so I'm gonna let you guys listen to this shortly, but I wanted to put, man, this is messy here. Um, I'll, I wanna put another hole on this side and then record it and see how and then and see how that sounds like. I'll let you guys listen to all these samples at the very end. Let's do this. Look at that. So the this is not a metal drill bit, so that's probably why, but it just it caught, it caught on the metal right here and it just spin it off. That's even better. So like I said, this is aluminum right here. There's no way you're going to puncture your passive radiators. Just no way. And then this piece here is also metal. Be careful with this stuff. Don't try this at home. I'm a professional. And you should probably wear safety glasses when you do this. Don't copy me. I didn't think it was gonna be this messy. And I didn't actually go through it. All right, we have a hole through. All right, I'm gonna go record this again with two holes on both sides and I'll be right back. All right, so we got that. And the next thing to do is try to put duct tape on there and try to fix and see if, just see if that will bring us back to the original sound quality. Duct tape it. That's enough cleaning up. Let's get some duct tape on here. I feel like you need a certain, a certain amount of pressure in there. Um, that is hard for me to do, so. Duct tape fixes everything. So if it fixes a JBL speaker too. But I feel like I need to cut off the excess. This blade is quite bad. I'm gonna get a new blade. 
Alright, I got a new blade. I just want to trim this so I don't have that that could just vibrate and actually affect the sound. So if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it right. But I have to like cut really carefully because I don't want to just cut out a hole again. Which I'm probably going to do. I'm going to take out the old passive radiator and see how it sounds with completely nothing there. You know what I mean? All right, that looks like a good patch. And now let's patch this side. This side I'm gonna use a black one because I have two here, so why not? Clean it off. Put a chunk there. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but hey. It's not really sticking on there. We have a problem. Duct tape is not really. That won't work. Duct tape does not. Maybe that's just bad. Let's use this. Okay, so we have a problem, so we c probably can't try this out. What can I do? Bummer. Do I have any sort of tape here? I do have the command strip stuff. I don't know if we'll cover that spot, but... Does it stick? It does not stick to it, so we can't... You can't we can't fix that hole. I'm gonna try to just take off the old piece so it's the same as the other side. And then we try to stick tape onto that spot. It's hard to get off intentionally. There you go. So whatever material they use on there, it's not tape friendly. What? It's not sticking still. What the heck? Alright, the repair thing might not work for this video. It's... I guess duct tape cannot fix everything. Okay, duct tape is not working, so I think I'm gonna go to my next test. <laughs> I'm gonna take out the entire passive radiator so we can see what's in there and also see how the speaker sounds like with completely no passive radiator. Let's do that. Just gonna go cut it along the edge here. Oh my gosh, this feels so bad. But hey. What science is all about. Experiment. There we have it. Now you can see the inside. The speaker right there. And let's do this side. I was really close to the battery right there, so. That's why I was being careful not wanting to go in all the way because it's, you know, it could puncture the battery, who knows, it might explode or something. But so there we go. Everything is opened up. And now let's go play it and see how it sounds like with no passive radiators at all. I don't know. Let's go figure that out. I'm gonna go record this now. Okay, <laughs> that sounds different, is the word, I think. <laughs> Alright, so I've done all the recording I needed, 
and I think it's time for you guys and me actually to listen to them side by side and hear what the difference is between the original, the one hole, the two holes, um, and the completely no passive radiator JBL charge holes. Now, before I give you the sound sample though, I want, maybe probably in a different video, I wanna try to somehow cover this up just because of how it sounds right now. <laughs> and if you have an idea of something I could do or how I could cover it up like I don't know, just some DIY idea of how I could do something like that. Let me know in the comment section below and I will film that video and bring it back just so I can show you guys how it sounds like with my DIY cover up or something like that. So yeah, my charge four is gone. Not pretty cool, but anyways, here are the sound samples between the original, the one hole, the two hole, the completely no hole. And I will talk to you on the other side of the samples. Take a listen. What do you think? <laughs> Anything surprise you at all? The sound between the original and the the, um, the recording where we have just the one hole in the PRs is, I mean, it's not perfect, but it's really, really not as noticeable. At maximum volume, you can barely hear it. It's, it comes out quite a bit, at, you know, doing that song, the second song with vocals, but Overall, I think you can still use a speaker with just one hole in it, but as you progress with two holes and with no PRs, there's definitely, this thing is not really usable. Like it's a lot louder with the PRs out, which could be good, but the bass really drops a lot. Um, the, the sound is not controlled at all. The, the mids, shoot out the roof. Like the mids are way, way, way overpowering everything else. So somehow the passive radiators are a very, very critical part to the way the JBL Charge 4 or probably all the other JBL speakers with passive radiators work. So you know things, I don't think the passive radiators are something that is that fragile that you should be concerned about it. Um, but at the same time, in a case, if somehow the passive radiator comes out, the speaker is pretty much unusable. Anyways, well, thank you guys for watching. This has been an interesting video. I hope you guys enjoyed it like I did. Um, I kind of feel bad that I just lost the speaker right now, but it was fun. The other thing to note that your speaker still works, like everything connects, works right. It connects to my speaker, um, it, uh, I mean to my phone, and everything works. But, see, connected to my phone. 
but it's just that the sound is way way out of whack like it's it's just unusable anymore thank you for watching i will see you guys in the next video peace i've actually never looked inside a jbl speaker this is kind of cool ouch Man, I should have worn my glove. These shavings here are starting to get me. I think one got into me. That hurt. Anyways, let's clean this up.